Understanding lung cancer. It's a topic that affects many lives and is crucial to comprehend. Lung cancer is a serious disease. It affects millions worldwide, cutting across all demographics and regions. The impact is profound, not just on patients, but also on their families and communities. This happens when cells in the lungs grow uncontrollably, forming tumors that can spread to other parts of the body. It's the leading cause of cancer deaths, surpassing even breast, prostate, and colon cancers combined. But there's hope. Understanding lung cancer is the first step towards fighting it. Medical advancements and increased awareness have led to better diagnosis and treatment options. We can make a difference through awareness and action. Lung cancer often doesn't show early signs, making it difficult to detect in its initial stages. Early detection is key to improving survival rates. Many people are diagnosed when the disease has already progressed to an advanced stage. That's why it's crucial to be informed about the risk factors and symptoms. Knowing the causes, symptoms, and treatment options can save lives. Common symptoms include persistent cough, chest pain, and shortness of breath. Risk factors include smoking, exposure to radon gas, and family history. This essay will guide you through the essentials of lung cancer. We'll discuss prevention strategies, such as quitting smoking and regular screenings, and how to support those affected by this disease. Remember, knowledge is power. Let's work together to combat this challenging disease. By staying informed and proactive, we can make a significant impact in the fight against lung cancer. The silent threat. What causes lung cancer? The primary cause of lung cancer is smoking. Cigarettes contain harmful chemicals. These chemicals damage lung cells over time. This damage can lead to cancer, but smoking isn't the only risk factor. Exposure to radon gas is another concern. Radon is a radioactive gas found in soil and rocks. It can seep into homes and buildings. Other factors include exposure to asbestos and air pollution. A family history of lung cancer also increases risk. The more risk factors you have, the higher your chances of developing the disease. Recognizing the warning signs. Symptoms of lung cancer. Lung cancer often doesn't cause noticeable symptoms in its early stages. This can make it difficult to detect the disease early on, which is why awareness of the symptoms is so important. As the disease progresses, symptoms may appear. These symptoms can sometimes be mistaken for other common illnesses, which is why it's crucial to pay attention to any persistent changes in your health. These symptoms can vary depending on the type and location of the cancer. For instance, tumors located in different parts of the lung can cause different symptoms. Common symptoms include a persistent cough that doesn't go away or gets worse over time. This is often one of the first signs people notice. You might also experience shortness of breath, which can occur even when you're not exerting yourself. This can be a sign that the cancer is affecting your lung's ability to function properly. Chest pain is another warning sign. This pain can be sharp or dull and may worsen with deep breathing, coughing, or laughing. Coughing up blood, even a small amount, is a serious symptom that should never be ignored. Other signs include hoarseness, which can make your voice sound raspy or strained, unexplained weight loss, and fatigue. These symptoms can significantly impact your daily life and overall well-being. If you experience any of these symptoms, consult your doctor promptly. Early consultation can lead to early diagnosis, which is key in managing the disease effectively. Early detection is crucial for successful treatment. The sooner lung cancer is found, the better the chances of treating it effectively and improving the outcome for the patient. Early detection is key diagnosis and staging. Early detection of lung cancer significantly improves the chances of successful treatment and survival. Understanding the process of diagnosis and staging is crucial for patients and their families. If lung cancer is suspected, your doctor will recommend a series of tests to confirm the diagnosis and determine the stage of the disease. These tests are essential to create an effective treatment plan tailored to your specific condition. A chest x-ray is often the first step in the diagnostic process. It provides a preliminary image of your lungs. 
helping to identify any visible abnormalities or masses that may indicate the presence of cancer. The X-ray images allow doctors to see the structure of your lungs and detect any unusual growths or nodules. However, further tests are usually needed to get a more detailed view. A CT scan creates detailed cross-sectional images of your lungs and chest. This advanced imaging technique provides a more comprehensive view, helping to pinpoint the exact location and size of any tumors. A biopsy is necessary to confirm the diagnosis of lung cancer. During this procedure, a small tissue sample is taken from the lung for further examination. This involves taking a small tissue sample from the lung, which is then sent to a laboratory for analysis. The biopsy helps determine the type of lung cancer and its characteristics. The sample is then examined under a microscope by a pathologist. This detailed analysis is crucial for identifying the specific type of lung cancer and planning the appropriate treatment. If cancer is confirmed, staging determines the extent of the disease. Staging is a critical step that helps doctors understand how far the cancer has spread within the lungs and to other parts of the body. It tells your doctor the size of the tumor and whether it has invaded nearby tissues or organs. This information is vital for developing a treatment strategy. It also reveals if it has spread to other parts of the body, such as the lymph nodes or distant organs. Understanding the stage of cancer is essential for determining the best course of action and improving patient outcomes. Section 5. Fighting Back Treatment Options for Lung Cancer Treatment for lung cancer depends on several factors. These include the type and stage of cancer. Your overall health and preferences are also considered. Surgery is a common treatment option. It involves removing the cancerous tumor surgically. Chemotherapy uses drugs to kill cancer cells. Radiation therapy uses high energy rays to destroy cancer cells. In some cases, a combination of these treatments may be recommended. Your doctor will create a personalized treatment plan. It's essential to discuss all options and potential side effects. Section six, a multifaceted approach surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. Surgery is often the primary treatment for early-stage lung cancer. It aims to remove the tumor and a small margin of surrounding healthy tissue. Radiation therapy uses high-energy rays to target and destroy cancer cells. It can be used before or after surgery. Radiation can also be used to relieve symptoms. Chemotherapy uses powerful drugs to kill cancer cells. It can be administered intravenously or orally. Chemotherapy is often used after surgery to destroy any remaining cancer cells. Section 7. Beyond Traditional Treatments, Targeted Therapy, and Immunotherapy Targeted therapy uses drugs that specifically target cancer cells. These drugs work by blocking the growth and spread of cancer cells. Immunotherapy helps your body's immune system fight cancer. It boosts the immune system's ability to recognize and destroy cancer cells. These newer therapies offer promising options. They are especially beneficial for certain types of lung cancer. Your doctor will determine if these treatments are suitable for you. Section 8. Prevention is the best medicine reducing your risk. The most effective way to prevent lung cancer is to avoid smoking. If you smoke, Quitting is the best thing you can do for your health. Reduce your exposure to radon gas. You can test your home for radon levels. Mitigation systems can reduce radon levels if necessary. Limit your exposure to other carcinogens. These include asbestos and air pollution. Wear protective gear when working with hazardous materials. Section 9. Support and resources navigating the journey together. A lung cancer diagnosis can be overwhelming. It's essential to seek support. Talk to your family and friends. They can provide emotional support during this challenging time. Support groups offer a safe space. You can connect with others who understand what you're going through. They can provide practical advice and emotional support. Your healthcare team is also a valuable resource. Don't hesitate to ask questions and seek guidance. Section 10, Living with Lung Cancer, Hope and Quality of Life. Living with lung cancer presents challenges, but there's always hope. 
Advances in treatment are improving survival rates. Focus on maintaining a good quality of life. Eat a healthy diet, get regular exercise, and manage stress. These practices can help you cope with the disease and its treatment. Remember that you're not alone. Reach out for support and embrace life's precious moments. Section 11. Conclusion. Advancing towards a brighter future. Lung cancer is a serious disease, but with awareness, early detection, and advancements in treatment, there is hope. By understanding the causes, symptoms, and treatment options, we can make informed decisions. Remember, prevention is key. By reducing our risk factors, we can protect ourselves and our loved ones. Let's continue to support research efforts and strive for a future where lung cancer is no longer a threat. Together, we can make a difference.